Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. Protecting the skies has always been a main task of the Israel Defense Force, which is why they created a multi-layered air and missile defense. The country also has many modern artillery systems, missiles of various ranges, including intercontinental ballistic missiles capable of carrying nuclear warheads anywhere in the world. Today, we have prepared for you a selection of the 10 best artillery systems, missiles, and air defense systems in service with the Israel Defense Forces. But before we get started, if you enjoy this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get more sent straight to your notifications. M71 the M71 is a 155mm 39 caliber towed howitzer manufactured by Israeli company Sultam Systems. The weapon was born from the experience garnered in the design, development, and manufacture of the preceding M68 gun series. The weapon was given a longer gun tube and an air driver loading rammer while retaining much of the form and function of the original. It can fire a 96-pound high-explosive shell up to a maximum range of 14.6 miles at a muzzle velocity of 820 meters per second, 27,000 feet per second. In addition to Israel, this weapon is also in service with Chile, Singapore, Thailand, Philippines, South Africa, Slovenia, and Myanmar. A version of this weapon was developed to mount on a modified Centurion chassis M72, but this vehicle never reached production. LORA The LORA, shorthand for Long Range Attack, is a tactical missile developed in Israel. It was first announced in 2003, first publicly revealed in 2006 at the Eurosatory Exposition. This weapon is a short-range quasi-ballistic missile system in that the missile follows a ballistic trajectory to the target but performs random or programmed evasive maneuvers while in flight to allay tracking and interception. Reportedly, it has significant accuracy with a CEP of 33 feet 10 meters. The LoRa is launched from a box-shaped four-cell launcher that can be mounted on a vehicle flatbed or trailer. The LoRa has also been demonstrated to launch vertically from warships to attack distant land targets from the sea. Propelled using a single-stage, solid-fueled rocket motor, the LoRa has a maximum range of 155 miles (250 kilometers) or 187 miles (300 kilometers), depending on the warhead, and minimum range of 18 miles (30 kilometers). Spider. The Spider Air Defense System was developed by Rafael and Israel Aircraft Industries to meet Israeli Army requirements. Currently, this air defense system is in service with Georgia, India, Peru, Singapore, and Vietnam. The Spider Air Defense System is unique in several aspects. It is the only system that launches two different types of missiles from the same launcher pad. The Spider Fire Python 5 and Derby missiles, designed by Rafael. Basically, these are air-to-air -air type missiles modified to be used as surface-to-air missiles. The Python 5 short-range missile has a range of 9 miles, 15 kilometers. It can identify a wide range of airborne threats. The Derby has a range of up to 31 miles, 50 kilometers. Both the Derby and Python 5 missiles find the target themselves. Pulls the Elbit System's Autonomous Artillery Rocket System provides a comprehensive and cost-effective solution for precise firing of all types of advanced rockets with optimal responsiveness. Unlike standard artillery, with poles, there is no need to move artillery units based on the required firing range. The versatile solution can fire a variety of ammunition types to various ranges from the same position to ranges of up to 187 miles. 300 kilometers. The multi-purpose launcher features two pods. Each pod is designed for a specific rocket type. The Acular 122mm 18 rockets with a range of up to 21 miles 35 kilometers. The Acular 160mm 10 rockets with a range of up to 24 miles 40 kilometers. The Extra 4 rockets with a range of up to 93 miles 150 kilometers 
and the Predator Hawk, two rockets with a range of up to 187 miles, 300 kilometers. The system can accurately and effectively neutralize the specified targets at all ranges. Atmos The Atmos is a 155mm 52 caliber truck-mounted howitzer that offers the advantages of superior firepower, enhanced mobility, and rapid response time. Highly adaptable, the modular Atmos system is compatible with any 6x6 or 8x8 high-mobility tactical truck. Atmos supplies fire support for all types of missions and can be easily interfaced with customers' existing systems. Part of Elbit Systems' line of fully integrated modular artillery solutions, Atmos incorporates an embedded electronic suite, automatic laying system, and automatic loading system. The advanced electronic suite effectively enables accurate navigation and autonomous operation, reduced crew size, increased firepower, and high precision accuracy. The Atmos achieves ranges exceeding 24 miles 40 kilometers, with ERFB BB ammunition and suitable propelling charge. The Atmos can fire all types of qualified 155mm ammunition, projectiles and charges that are used by NATO and other countries. Onboard containers store a minimum of 18 rounds, including projectiles, propellants, and fuses. Iron Dome The Iron Dome is an Israeli missile defense system developed by Rafael. The program was started in 2005 and development began in 2007. The Iron Dome was designed to provide coverage for cities against enemy short-range ballistic missiles, artillery rockets, and 155mm artillery shells. The missile defense system was first deployed in 2011. Since then, it proved itself well and saved many lives. In 2021, Israel has agreed to let the United States deploy the batteries of Iron Dome missile defense systems in military bases in the Persian Gulf, Europe, and Asia. In 2022, two batteries of the Iron Dome system were delivered to the U.S. Army. The Iron Dome is intended to intercept ballistic missiles such as the Scud, artillery rockets, and artillery shells fired from the distance of 3 to 44 miles, 4 to 70 kilometers. A battery of the Iron Dome consists of 3 to 4 launchers, radar, and a battle management and missiles control unit. Each launcher of the Iron Dome is fitted with up to 20 Tamir interceptor missiles. The system can simultaneously track hundreds of incoming threats and engage them. Jericho 3 The Jericho 3 is the first Israeli intercontinental ballistic missiles. It is a further development of the Jericho 1 short-range ballistic missile and Jericho 2 medium-range ballistic missile. The Jericho 3 is known to be 50 feet 10 inches 15.5 meters in length and 5 feet 1.56 meters in diameter and is estimated to weigh 66,140 pounds, 30,000 kilograms. The range of the Jericho 3 is substantial, encompassing the entirety of the Middle East, Europe, Africa, Asia, and most of North America, South America, and North Oceania. As such, the Jericho 3 enables the Israel Defense Forces to launch a nuclear warhead into almost any location on Earth. The warhead of this missile is estimated to weigh 2,204 pounds, 1,000 kilograms, and conventional, biological, chemical, and nuclear warheads are believed to exist, though the full range of warhead options are impossible to confirm due to the secretive nature of the IDF Missile Command. David Sling The David Sling is an Israel Defense Forces military system being jointly developed by the Israeli defense contractor Rafael Advanced Defense Systems and the American defense contractor Raytheon, designed to intercept enemy planes, drones, tactical ballistic missiles, medium to long-range rockets, and cruise missiles fired at ranges from 24 to 187 miles, 40 to 300 kilometers. The David Sling Interceptor delivers superior kinematics, maneuverability, and lethality by combining novel innovative steering control, multi-purpose propulsion, and a next-generation seeker into a lightweight airframe. David Sling's maneuverable two-stage hit-to-kill stunner missile has no warhead. The Interceptor destroys threats with sheer force of impact. The stunner missile is proven to defeat all short-range ballistic missiles, 
92% of the worldwide theater ballistic missile threat inventory. A variant of the Stunner hit-to-kill missile, the highly advanced Sky Scepter Interceptor, is developed to defeat short- to medium-range ballistic and cruise missiles and other advanced air defense threats. Arrow 3 the Aero-3 is an exo-atmospheric anti-ballistic missile defense system jointly developed and produced by Israel and the U.S. for long-range threat engagement. The Aero-3 Interceptor was co-developed by Boeing and Israel Aerospace Industries MLM division. It is part of Israel's Aero Weapon System, a standalone anti-tactical ballistic missile defense system. The Aero-3 is a key element of the country's multi-layer defense missile array which also includes the Aero-2, David's Sling, and the Iron Dome Active Defense Systems. It was introduced into the Israel Air Force in 2017. The missile system uses hit-to-kill technology to destroy incoming missiles. The missile is launched vertically, and then the direction is changed towards the estimated intercept point. The kill vehicle is launched once the hostile warhead is identified and the target is close enough. The hypersonic weapon system features two solid propulsion stages, including a booster and a sustainer. It provides a range of 1,491 miles (2,400 kilometers) and can intercept threats at an altitude of 62 miles (100 kilometers). Iron Beam. The Iron Beam is a 100 kilowatt directed energy weapon air defense system which was unveiled by Israeli defense contractor Rafael Advanced Defense Systems. The system is designed to destroy short-range rockets, artillery, and mortar bombs. It has a range of up to 4.3 miles, 7 kilometers, too close for the Iron Dome system to intercept projectiles effectively. In addition, the system could also intercept unmanned aerial vehicles. The Iron Beam will constitute the fifth element of Israel Integrated Air Defense System. The Iron Beam uses a fiber laser to destroy an airborne target within 4 to 5 seconds of firing at a range of 13 miles 20 kilometers. The cost of each interception is negligible, unlike expensive missile interceptors. Around US$2,000 per shot to cover all costs, against $100,000 to $150,000 per interceptor firing. That's all, friends. Thanks for watching. Write in the comments which of the artillery, missile, and air defense systems you like the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.